So you want to know what the key to success in software development is? That's pretty easy actually. All you need to do is Hello and welcome fellow coders. Thanks for joining me on this beautiful day to discuss what I think was my key to success of becoming a software developer. If you're at the beginning of your career or just starting to learn how to code, there is one thing that you can start doing today and I promise you will become a successful software developer or you get your money back, which you didn't pay. So jokes on you. Let me get one thing straight though. This is no scam like do one push up daily and you will lose half your weight in just three months. There is no shortcut in becoming a successful software developer. You have to put in the work, the time, the dedication, the frustration, the joy, because ultimately success, as with everything in life, comes at the price. But I'm 100% convinced that you can boost up the process. So if you want to become a successful software developer, here's what you need to do. Always work on a side project. Yes, it's that simple. Let me explain. Working on a side project has a whole bunch of benefits, but not every side project is a good side project. So how do you find out if a project is worth working on? Motivation plays a huge role when it comes to software developing. And one way to stay motivated is to always grow and improve by learning something new. So obviously you should think about that when coming up with ideas. A good side project always provides room to improve your skills. Whether it is you are learning a new framework, new technology or simply trying out a new language. Always make sure that your side project has something new so you can learn and grow by coding. The next point is your side project should solve a real problem. There is no point in writing yet another to-do list even if you're learning something new. If you have already written three to-do lists, chances are there will be no big surprises when you write your fourth one, even if you pick a new language to do it. If on the other hand you pick a real world problem that you currently have, you will run into issues that you haven't solved yet. Yes, it will take more time, but you will also spend more time with the new language or technology, so you will get 10 times more experience. So instead of writing yet another to-do list, try to automate something like sorting and renaming your photos. Or write a crypto trading bot so you don't have to check your charts 20 times a day. These would be excellent examples for good side projects, because you're already passionate about a topic. And this directly leads me to point number three. A good side project is something you are passionate about. Most problems you are passionate about are problems that you have on your own, right? For instance, most of my side projects either automate things I hate doing manually or help me pick better investments with either stocks or crypto coins. If you have strong feelings about the project you are currently working on, it is much more likely that you finish it even if you get stuck or hit a wall. And trust me, you will get stuck all the time. But since it's a problem that you really 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 want to solve, you will solve it no matter what. Probably. But as easy and magical as this sounds, of course there are also drawbacks to always working on a side project. Sometimes it can be quite overwhelming to have a list of possible side projects that is longer than your Christmas wish list. My list always has at least 20 items and I spent ages deciding what to work on next. Maybe this is just me, I don't know. Please let me know in the comments down below if you have the same problem. The second drawback, which is also the bigger one, is you have to invest the time. Time is the most valuable resource we humans have. Wow. That was a cool sentence. I should become a poet. So you want to make sure to spend it well. And sometimes the beach wins. Or a good walk. Or a book. Or a movie. You are just human, so you have to take breaks, right? But luckily, at least most programmers I know really love what they are doing. So writing code, learning new technologies, solving problems, heck sometimes even styling HTML with CSS does not feel like work. Obviously, the last one was a lie. CSS always feels like work. But in the end, you are still trading your precious free time, so it's up to you to decide whether or not writing code is time well spent. But always working on a side project also has its benefits. For instance, it is a fantastic opportunity to learn something new. You can greatly expand your horizon, and by doing so, come up with better technical solutions to your problems. I have learned several frameworks, programming languages and technologies like that, and I never regretted trying out something new. Another fantastic benefit is that you can use it to solve problems in your your daily life. Like I mentioned earlier, if you have some things you want to automate, start a side project. If you want to automatically extract data instead of checking three excel sheets all the time, side project. If you want to have an automatic time tracker that takes the time while you work, side project. If you want to send an hourly love message to your spouse, maybe just write the message on your own. 
Please don't make your love life a side project. After a certain amount of time, you will have a huge repertoire of CLI tools, scripts and programs that will make your daily life so much easier. Even if you use a bunch of those only once or twice a year, you will still be super happy that you spend a rainy weekend with coding. Working on a side project also has the effect of increasing your motivation. If you are experiencing a tough time at work, for instance if you had to write documentation for the last couple of weeks or you are not happy with the technology you are using. If that is the case, it is extremely comforting to have a project project that you can come back to and enjoy working on. This has helped me so many times during my career. After finishing automating one of my manual tasks, my motivation always spiked. And as a cherry on top, I used a new technology I was eager to learn anyways. These are the times I feel very happy that I became a software developer. The next benefit of always working on a side project is, it helps you increase your problem solving skills. I am 100% convinced that problem solving is one of the major skills every software developer has to obtain to become successful. And guess what? Working on a side project is a great opportunity to practice and develop that skill. I think that problem solving can be done by following a certain plan. In a very short and condensed form, the plan looks like this. First, fully understand the problem, then figure out and test possible technical solutions and lastly, implement the best one. I have released a whole video about how to solve problems as a software developer. If you want to become a problem solving master on your own, go check it out. While working on a side project, you are constantly presented with problems you need to figure out. And and by doing so, you will develop all kind of useful skills, like for instance understanding error messages and googling for possible solutions, thinking before copy-pasting from Stack Overflow, which of course I never ever have done, reading and understanding technical documentation or reading code of other people and many many more. All these skills will help you to become a problem-solving master. And again, working on a side project is a great way of practicing them. Speaking of practicing, one of the best benefits of working on a side project is, working on a side project will increase your coding experience fast. After writing a for loop 10 times, you probably have memorized it. But after 1000 times, I can most certainly wake you up at 3am in the morning and you will still be able to write down the syntax. Subscribe to the channel or be prepared to get a call tonight. If you write code, you memorize these things. And if you write more code in less time, you memorize these things in a shorter time period. I hope this makes sense. Let's say for instance you work one extra hour per day on your side project. These are seven extra hours per week. So basically a whole day of working if you cut out the small talk with your coworkers, right? So instead of coding five days a week, you code six days a week. And after a year, these are 52 days of extra coding, almost two months of extra experience. Imagine how fast you will progress in your career if you add two extra months of experience every single year. And all of that by only working one extra hour per day on something you are passionate about anyways. Awesome, right? So all in all I would say that the benefits outweigh the drawbacks by a lot. And I can say with confidence that if it wasn't for side projects, I wouldn't be the software developer I am today. Now that you are absolutely convinced that you want to start a side project, here's what you need to do. First, pick a topic you are passionate about and think about the manual tasks that you are doing that you want to automate. Next, pick a new language, framework or technology that you want to learn and find some good resources on that. Third, set aside one hour per day for the next 30 days. Clear out one hour in your calendar. Tell your spouse that you are coming to bed one hour later. Get up one hour earlier and work in the morning. Let your one dog walk the other dog. Do whatever it takes to make room for one hour of undisturbed work. And lastly, fully commit. Don't just say you will work on a side project. Do it. If you skip a day, that's totally fine, but make sure to keep up the hours and work one extra hour on the weekend. And never miss more than one day in a row, because this will break the habit and that is the ultimate goal you want to achieve, making a habit out of it. After 30 days of fully committing and putting in the work, you will be absolutely satisfied with what you have accomplished. And after that, rinse and repeat. And that is it for today guys. If you enjoyed watching this one, you know what to do. And until next time, keep on coding.